Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little test for the range of these new rims and tires that I have. As you can see, I am right now in Harrisburg at the Supercharger, and I want to drive up to Binghamton without stopping in Scranton. Who wants to stop in Scranton? Nobody. So, it's telling me i got to stop there and charge for 15 minutes to make it, but as you can see, it's 183 total miles, and I've got 213 right now, which means I should have an extra 30 miles of range. So. Let's see if this is accurate or if this does not take into account my new rims and tires that have, I think, like a 5 to 10% lower range than the previous tires. Let me know what you know about that in the, in the uh, comments. Actually, now I've got 214 miles. That's 31 miles of buffer. We should be able to make it, I think. So let's disconnect. Here are the tires. If you haven't seen them before, the rims. Definitely need Scorpion Zero performance tires on here, and they're supposed to be, I think, not as low rolling resistance. Okay, so we're 102 miles out and we've only got 114 miles of range left, which means we're not going to make it. This definitely is affecting the range, these tires, and more so than I maybe would have thought. So we're going to have to stop in Scranton, which is actually Moosick, Pennsylvania. And when we get there, I'll let you know how many miles off we got because we're already on, like we started with 31 miles of range extra and now we're down to 12 so it's actually cutting quite a bit these new tires are cutting quite a bit off the range that I'm used to and the way it's programmed and if anybody knows it will this thing revert after a while will it will it adjust I've already got the settings here so that it's it's not being overly optimistic but will it adjust based on these new tires let me know in the comments Well, okay, as you can see, we have 80 miles left here, and we're at Musick, which is uh, the, the supercharger at Scranton, and that means that we lost 13 miles over a 115-mile journey, which translates into 11.3% lower range with these tires. Okay, that's what I'm calculating right now, so I don't think that the computer takes into account this stuff when we're traveling, unfortunately, at least it doesn't right now. I don't know if it'll, it'll learn us over time, but for now, we're going to have to figure whatever it tells us we need to do and whatever mileage we have to go, that I'm going to put another 11.3% of juice into this vehicle to get us where we're going. Let me know if you've got these tires, if you've upgraded to the performance tires on the Model X and probably similar on the Model S, I'm guessing, over the base tires. And if so, like what you've been able to experience in terms of range loss, if that sounds about right. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, round it off 10%, but 11.3% is what it is, at least that's what I'm seeing. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to reading your comments.